Hey everybody, it's Dak here from the Ed Boys, and welcome to episode 56 of our RuneScape 2007 Road to 100 mil. At the end of episode 55, I said I would be finishing up stringing all of these 7,500 U longbows, and I'm doing that right here. We have our last load of longbows to go. After we're done, I'm going to sell them for what I think will bring us to an 87 mil total stack, but we can see for sure because we have them all done now. Here we go, 7,500 U longbows. The price that I'm about to sell them for, uh, 683 coins a piece, is grabbed from the OS Buddy Exchange. I believe it's a pretty accurate price, and if it's a little low, that's not a big deal. Uh, we're still making a good profit from it. The prices stay good for us. It looks like I may have been able to sell them for higher, but this is okay. This is a good amount of profit to put in, and it definitely is bringing us to the 87 mil. Let's see exactly how much, though. 87.3 mil. We're making some pretty good progress. All right, everybody, if you couldn't tell by the title, today's task is going to be Red Chinchampas. This has landed at number five on our top 10 list, and I will go over exactly why in just a little bit. But first, I'll explain how many I'm gonna do. I didn't really have a solid level goal. Uh, I wanted to get a lot of levels from it because I wanted to make some pretty good profit overall. And I was thinking I would catch about 1,500 of these Chinchampas, depending on how quickly they go. I think I can get at least 150 an hour, so that would be 10 hours at that pace. And that seems like kind of a lot, but I'm expecting it to go a little bit faster as I level up. And if that is the number of, or excuse me, the length of time I have to spend on it, it's not going to be that bad because I'm going to make a good profit on it anyways, and I'm always down to make a good profit. So now that I've said that, I will get into the pros and cons, and afterwards I'll give some XP and some GP rates for catching Red Chinchampas. As always, we're going to start off with the cons. The first con that I have on the list would be that it's kind of click intensive. Not to say that I don't like it because it isn't AFK, but it, there's definitely a lot of clicking going on. If you're not paying attention while you're doing Hunter, it gets slow very quickly. It's definitely a skill that you need to focus on or your rates are going to lower very quickly. And since I'm at basically the minimum level required to catch these, I definitely need to keep all the speed I can. If I was up in the 90s in Hunter, my rates would be so good anyway that if I didn't pay as much attention, it wouldn't be as negative as it is right now. The other con is that it gets very crowded here. This is a very popular thing to do. There's always people hunting chinchapas because there's always a use for them and it's a decent money maker that doesn't have that high of a requirement. So it's, it's definitely packed here quite often. It's never horrible. I don't think I ever had a time where I would spend more than two or three minutes looking for a world to catch them more efficiently. And there's many spots. As you can see, I'm in a different spot right now than I started. I'm just a little bit south. And you can go even more southwest from here and there's a few more spots that you can catch them. So there's a bunch of different spots in each world you should be willing to check each of those spots when you hop or at least the ones that are close to each other and then if you don't want to take the long run you can just hop again eventually you're gonna find a free world it's gonna happen the one bummer though is since it does get crowded you get a lot of rude people who like to just log on and instantly start catching them right where you are and that kind of cuts both your rates down a little bit not necessarily in half as much as logically it would cut them in half it just cuts them down by a little bit and it's kind of a pain they usually do it because they know that you'll probably hop and I generally do if someone comes and tries to take my world I don't try to just out catch them or anything I, I just like to hop because it really like I said only takes two or three minutes to find a pretty good world we're gonna move on to the cons now the first two cons is that it's good money and good XP I'll go over the rates in a little bit as always but this is definitely a better money maker especially as you get higher levels you can make a really good amount of money per hour uh, the experience, even if it wasn't good XP, uh, you're getting experience and it's a money maker. So when it comes to money making, if you're getting XP, it's just a bonus. That's what I like to say. And it's really not bad experience. I was getting decent rates at the minimum level. So like I said, if you're up in the 90s in Hunter, all of these rates really, really increase. And that's that's great. If it's getting faster as you go, then that's getting better getting better as you go and that's only a positive thing and that is the next pro is that it gets faster as you go the more you level up and the more you do it the more used to the clicks and everything you get the faster it's gonna be so the slowest the slowest outcome you're gonna get from hunter is right as you show up so that's always a good thing as long as it's getting better and you're not staying at the same exact rate is a positive you're gonna be making more money and we were making good money in the first place so making more ah, that sounds good to me now that I've gone over all of the pros and cons, I will discuss some of the GP and the XP rates that I get here. 
I was getting just over 200k an hour in gold and that is at level 65. I'm sure at level 95 or even up to 99 it's a lot faster. I can't really give an exact number because I am not that level. I know for sure it would be faster. Logically that's what happens. You catch them more successfully. And honestly if you could get up to let's say 200 or 250 catches in a single hour you could be looking at 350 to even 400k an hour profit and it's really not that difficult to do so generally if you're making 350k plus an hour it's a pretty good money maker even though I said I'm only making 200k an hour that's just because I'm a lower level and I would have liked to get a higher level before doing this or at least do it long enough to get to a higher level but if I were to do this until like 90 just to get a good rate we would already have the 100 mil and then I wouldn't be able to finish the top 10 and nothing would work out like it was supposed to so I did do this at kind of a lower level uh, as you can see I'm about to catch my thousandth chinchampa and I'd like to take a break just to get that milestone there it is so I now caught a thousand that means I'm gonna be catching about 500 more um, if I change my mind I will tell you but I highly doubt I will change my mind that should be getting me up to 70 or so hunter which is pretty good I like getting my hunter up I'm at 69 right now uh, I I got 99 hunter in runescape 3 recently so I do have to say this is kinda easier for me because I've gotten used to the hunter grind and I've realized that the hunter grind is one of my favorites and I don't know why because I wouldn't put hunter as one of my favorite skills but training it really wasn't that bad so maybe I should put it as one of my favorite skills but it's not like I'm going to 99 right now we don't have much of a grind only 500 more chinchampas I'm gonna get working on that I've given you guys all the pros and cons and the reasoning why this has landed number five on our top 10 so I will see you guys when I'm at 1500 chinchampas caught all right, I am almost done catching all the chinchampas. We just have six more to catch. It's been going pretty well. I definitely increased rates a little bit. I started off expecting to get about 150 an hour, and that is what I was getting when I started catching them. But it definitely increased to more like 170, 180 an hour, which was partially because I was starting to pay more attention and really start the grind. If you guys have never done a full-on grind, like if you've never grinded out a 99 or tried to do something for like 20 plus hours, then you may not know what I mean by a real grind. Once you get going, there's there's some little little point where your your rates start to really increase. And I saw a little bit of that as I was going, but not really enough to make that much of a difference quite yet. As you can see, it was like 20, maybe 10 to 20 chinchampas an hour. But I'll take it. It was definitely helpful for the time I did it. It did not take 10 hours. It took more like 8, which still was kind of lengthy in time, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to be making over 2 mil profit. It's purely profit. That's another pro that I probably should have talked about. It's just a gathering skill, so this is 100% profit. Clearly, I had to buy these box traps, but they're very cheap. One chinchampa paid for all the box traps. Not that big of a deal. Now that I, oh, I still have 3 more to go. I'm not at 1,500, but when I get to 1,500... I'm going to be running up to the Grand Exchange to sell them. I might be meeting Fox up there when I get there because I know he wants some red chinchampas because he's going to be training range soon. And I figure I might as well sell them to him if he's going to be buying them. They are kind of at a, a higher price right now, which was fairly convenient for me. They, they rose a little bit while catching them. But these are always at a high price. I very rarely seen chinchampas drop down to a very low price to where they weren't that much money. I just got a little bit lucky to get some extra profit here. Uh, it looks like, oh, it looks like I've caught 1,500. I'm actually now going to be at 1,501. Um, I might want to, oh, why would I, why would I set another trap? Uh, I usually would wait till these four traps have a, ch a chinchampa at least attempt to get caught, but I'm just going to pick them up now, run up to the Grand Exchange and sell them because I'm looking forward to making some profit. So I'm going to meet all of you at the Grand Exchange. Alright everybody, I've made it to the Grand Exchange where Fox indeed wanted to buy my Red Chinchampas. So that's what we are doing right now is finishing up this trade. This does look like a price that both of us are happy with. So I'm going to be making a little over 2.2 mil profit, 2 and a quarter mil profit just about, which is pretty good. That means we're going to be right next to 90 mil, maybe maybe even at 90 mil, we'll see in just a second. Um, he, he wants to check if everything is good. It, it is. We're all good. I'm good with the price as long as he's good with the price. Alright. And now I can run over to the bank quick. Alright, so I'm in the bank going to drop my cash in. I don't think this will get us to 99 mil, but it might. No, 89 mil. 89 point what? 89.5. Alright, so we're, we're pretty close to 90 mil. Making some good progress. Looks like next episode we'll be hitting a pretty good milestone.
But not to get ahead of ourselves, we're going to be wrapping up this episode buying some Ronars. I am going to be making unfinished Ronar potions just a little bit because, well, kind of just a little bit. I'm going to try to buy 5,000 Ronars. Uh, it's a lot of money for these Ronars, so I would like to do a lot more than this because I, I would make a lot more money. But I don't really have enough money to drop on Ronars. I was okay with dropping right around 40 mil, so it's going to be a pretty good amount of money. I don't know exactly how much yet, but we will see at the beginning of next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I did, and I will see you next time. I want to thank you guys for watching today's video and helping support the channel. If you enjoyed the video, we would appreciate it if you would hit that like button and tell us what you liked about it in the comments section below. If you're looking for more videos like this one, then go ahead and join the cul-de-sac by clicking that subscribe button and follow us on Twitter at TheEdBoys. All links are in the description.